We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're getting all spoopy just in time for Halloween. All right, Spookums times, whatever you want to say, guys and gals. We're going to be playing Fatal Frame slash Project Zero, Maiden of the Black Water. It is by Koei Tecmo, and it releases on October 28th, 2021 for, like, every conceivable device known to man. So all the consoles, PC, all of it. So, yeah, you guys will be able to grab it and enjoy it. Big shout-out and a thank you to Koei Tecmo for hooking me up with a code for this. That being said, well, let's dive in and see what we're getting ourselves into here. Uh, I have played around a little bit with settings and such. I think we're okay. We'll see. I may have to play around a little bit more. This game is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual people or organizations is entirely coincidental. Prologue Lurking in the Deep. Miyu Hinasaki. Spirited away. In the vicinity of Mount Hikama. Uh, sorry, Hikama -i, People have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old, half flooded building. Now, I am not incredibly familiar with, like, I understand the premise and such, but I've not actually played the Fatal Frame franchise at all. So this is going to be my first time really dipping my toe in, and like I said, perfect time for, you know, Halloween spookums time. So, I'm here for it. Let's, uh, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Feels like, uh... Oh, okay, we're, we're above the water. Like, I feel like we're underwater, and that's probably not great. You don't want to awaken underwater. She's a lucky girl. Somehow she managed to stay above the water and breathe that whole time while she was not conscious. That's, uh... That's, that's some luck there. I wonder if she hurt her arm or if she's just real cold. In spooky land, obviously. Uh -huh. The tension's grown a little bit. This seems ungood. Yeah, this is not great. I have got to get out of here. Use the right analog stick to look around. Alright. Uh oh. Ghost lady, leave me alone, please. Use the left analog stick to walk in the direction that you want. Okay, so I think I'd like to walk away from the horrible ghost people. They seem real upset with me. Y'all, uh, y'all not happy that I'm here. I, you know, that's, that's fine. We'll just close that off. No big deal. Uh, I've got to find a way out of here. Well, that's definitely some spooky times there. All right. Move and look around. Sure. I can check. Check something here. Looks like there's a cave wall on the other side of the lattice. I can see some stone statues out in the darkness. They must be underground. Now, how do I get out of here? I'll be playing around with the sound a little bit on and off, guys and gals. Hopefully we find a right mix. Because I feel uh, we've only basically got one sound slider, so I can't really, like, pull out the voices and make them louder. Uh, so we're going to have to play around a little bit. Just, just giving you guys a heads up. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out that way. Oh, are the Spookums ghosts coming? Yep. They do not seem very happy that we're here. They're chasing after me. I have to get out. 
Hold down the left trigger to run. Oh, but the door closed. That seems ungood. So when you touch that part of the door, you get some black and white television. Okay, seems ungood. Press the left to point the camera straight ahead, and then run. I guess we're gonna run over this way. She seems real calm considering what what all's going on, you know. Like there's ghosts chasing her and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it doesn't look very good for. Okay, this seems bad too. And also, you got you got spookums behind you. So, like, what's the plan? Oh, did the water turn to like black tar? Oh, look at this fellow or ma'am. Uh huh. Yeah, this seems bad. Okay, I guess we're gonna. Hey, the door's open this time. Sweet. Oh, but it closed right behind us. Yeah, I'd be a little disturbed right now. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I would be having some issues right now. With all the spookums things that are going on. Well, back into... Why is everything so... Why is it all wet? Why is there so much water? Okay. Is that like Pandora's box? Like, what are we, what are we talking here? Why are we here? What is What is going on? We just woke up in this place? There's no real backstory? That's not something I think you'd want to see. Is that air bubbles? Are we somehow underwater now? I'm real confused. Oh. Oh, it's Cousin Id. Nope. I was wrong, it's Bayonetta. Oh, well this seems bad. She probably should have gotten out of the hair water a long time ago. Well, you know, uh, a couple years in quarantine, that it'll do that to you, you know? Your hair just grows out of control. Huh? I feel like we somehow already lost the game. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Miyu Hinasaki has disappeared. Yeah, yeah, she definitely seems to have. No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. Huh. The mountain is where the events of the story take place. We follow the fates of three people. Yuri, Ren, and Miu. It is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Fatal Frame. Maiden of the Black or of Blackwater. I want to throw the Blackwater in there, you know, the the whole the pirates of, of Darkwater kinda of coming back into play now. It's cool. Just me. Love that show. First drop, a vanishing trace. Yuri uh, Kozukatada. Or Ka Kozukata? Sure. Shadow reading. Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in the inexplicable circumstances. Sure. This is not unlike the psychometry practiced elsewhere. Sure. Yuri Kozukata accompanies Isoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability, to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. 
Sensing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. Okay. So... We're on a mountain, but why do I feel like there's going to be more water? I thought that I'd be scared of death. But I can't even cry. Why are you standing out on that ledge? Doesn't seem safe. I am alone. In the end. Uh. I am alone. Um, don't. Are, are you just like a diving expert? See, there's more water, I'm telling you. Something about water in this game. I'll end it all. Alone. Don't, don't, don't. What, no, what? In the world. What we're looking for should be in here. Uh-huh. This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, take this. Sure. Give me a camera. All right. This is a camera obscura. Oh. It will let you see the unseen, including the clues that will help you find what we're here for. Okay. This is your opportunity. Your first case. Sweet. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. Let's start with a little practice. Okay. Mi it works exactly like a normal Mikomori camera. Hot Springs. It's like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Why do you go into photo mode? Okay. Move to get Hisoka in frame. The hey, camera Hisoka. obscura photographs the netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. Oh. Okay, took your photograph. Sure. Hisoka that Kurosawa. The lens is not the Make sure not to draw too much interest from the things you see. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld. Why? Alright, and then we... Okay, we can rotate. Alright, this is weird. Um, sure. Smile! She's not a very smiley person, it seems. You can lock onto any target with square. Nope. With, uh... What is it? Oh, there we go. Okay. With a okay, and then you can press. Okay, gotcha. Things around here seem to have changed. It wasn't exactly, but okay, I'm fine. Take this. I, I wish the voices were just a little bit louder. Post mortem photograph. That's um, it's a little disturbing. It's a token. It will help lead you to what we're looking for. It, will it? How does that? What are we looking for? How does that help me? I'm so now, confused. Don't panic, but be sure to stay on your guard. Oh Come yeah. On, oh, this... Head inside. This seems fine. Okay, we have a map. That we... sure. You can press that to open snap mode at any time to capture any interesting moments and areas. Welcome to snap mode. Here you can freely position and manipulate characters and ghosts in order to take the perfect picture. Sure. In camera operation mode, you can adjust the lens and frame, whereas in character operation mode, you can reposition characters and etc. Once everything is in place, remove the menu display and get snapping. Huh, interesting. Uh, so it's about character mode? Oh, film grain, that's high saturation, high contrast, enhanced blue, green, red, blur, real blur, monochrome, sepia, noise, oh, that's interesting. It's 
very interesting. Luxurious frame, okay. Photograph, wooden frame, no frame. Up the field. What else do we have? Instant camera style, shocking, dark. Black and white, film grain, none. Hmm. Come on. I want the I want a slight upward angle. Maybe not. Kind of makes her head weird. I'm real bad at moving cameras around, but it's cool to have a photo mode that actually has quite a bit of stuff. I mean, it makes sense for a game called Fatal Frame to have a a pretty robust and uh, you know well thought out photo mode. So I can appreciate that. Okay. Well, I played around with snap mode a little bit. I took a screenshot. I might use it as my uh, come on this way. Oh, as my thumbnail. Wow, she teleported. Don't worry. I'm right here with you. Whatever you say. Anyway, I, I feel like like the controls feel a little bit. Uh, I want to say clunky because I feel like you can almost. It, it's like the the camera and you moving or like so you can sort of back up but not always. I, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's just it feels very different than any other game that I've played, and you know that's fine. It doesn't have to be you know very samey or anything else. It doesn't have to. I have the same this feel. This is photograph. It's not just a normal photograph. It was taken to mourn the dead. It's why Ren sent us here. Okay. So he sent us a spooky dead person but photograph. But it says that this photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see whether we can find any more. Find any more photographs, or more dead, or what? What are we talking? The running is a bit strange. Y'all just saw that, right? There was just a, just a hand there for a second. Like, I saw it. Hey, Hisoka. Uh-huh. I saw the hand there, and then when I stepped up a little bit, it kind of went away. Alright. I feel like this is another one of those games where you're going to want to have, like, both headphones on. Because I feel like it's going to be a lot of directional sound. Usually I have one of my ears free. It helps with uh, hearing myself speak and everything else that I do. Okay, there's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. Water must have washed it down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over. It looks to be just as flooded. And once again... A lot of water. I do move real slow. Oh, okay. Into a cut scene here. Uh, that's probably not normal. You'd think we'd be a little concerned about this, right? Like, like already at this point, maybe we would be backing up. Or just putting up a, maybe a defensive posture or something. Using the light, maybe? Shine on him? Uh, what about the one that was just behind you? Nah, you're fine? What? Want to talk a little bit? Let's explain what's going on. Yuri, wait. I can sense something. Yeah, you think? Hold down right trigger to find the trail. It's called a trace. Oh. A shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. Oh, sweet. These traces can lead you to the right path. Is that a thing we want to do? Do, we, do is our problem going down the wrong Let's follow path? That shadow. But I, there's other places to go. Like, what's going on in here? Is 
a big hole in the wall leading to the pond. The light from the sunset is reflecting off the water, illuminating the room in an eerie glow. Yeah, something. Oh my goodness. Water is like the antagonist of this, this little deal. You know, as much as you want me to go one way, I feel like I might want to go a different way here. All right, hold down the thing. Follow the follow the spooky shadow ghost man. But there's so many other places to explore. Do I just follow this? This seems real questionable. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, okay. Is that a shadow of the past? Tutorial, echoes of the, of the past. In places where traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. Uh-huh. Yeah... I, I, I kind of saw it, and then I did not trigger it in time. Alright, well, I'm clearly not going to crawl through that yet. Move, girl. I feel like being in this weird abandoned building seems like a bad game plan in general. Hold that to pick up items. Okay, Mount Ikami's Downfall. An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe somebody dropped it. Uh, Mount Ikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twilet's Peak and the pool of purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off, and the flow of water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned, and Ichiru uh, Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiru's, Ichiru Manor's proprietor, Effectively putting an end to the business. Now, Takami, her, yeah, Hikami's uh, days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Oh, well, that's terrible. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountains. Oh, sorry, the mountain is. I forgot a space there. Is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill-seekers interested in the occult. Well, that's real disturbing. You know, you're real creepy, Hisoka. I I'm just- I'm just- I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna call you out right now. You- you real creepy. Uh-huh. Oh, this seems this seems safe. Okay, can we, can we get off our hands and knees? Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe it's in this room. It's locked. Here's we need a key. Try using the camera obscura. Okay, why would I do this? Tutorial, psychic photographs. Oh well. When you look around through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items 
they have a connection with. Find the locations from the photographs, and you may discover some clues there as well. Alright, bring up the camera obscura. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, no, this seems this seems fine. Yeah, no, this is gonna be great. There's something in the photo. Oh, there's there's a lot of somethings in the photo. There's light coming out of a closet, and there is a doll on top of a chest of drawers. This might be where the key is. Sweet. Find the place shown in the photograph. It's somewhere in this building. To view the photograph again, open the main menu and go to the tokens tab within the items records. Here, you go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. I'll wait for you here. Are you? You know what? It's fine. None of this seems sane. Does anybody else feel like these people are crazy? Oh, sweet. Apparently I have to be slightly faster than I am. I had it. And I thought maybe with the camera up I was, uh, I don't want to say immune or what have you, but I thought maybe, just maybe. Oh good, there's a door I can open. This seems, seems fine. Like nothing bad's gonna happen. Well, I found the creepy room. Door closed behind me. Uh huh. Hey, key on red keychain. It might open that door from before. Let's go back to Hisoka. Yep, right there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh huh. Yep, spooky time. Got him. Ish. Man looking at a key. Hi, creepy doll. Hey, you know what? I got I got the picture, right? Yeah. It it's real weird. Okay. Well, onward we go. Crawl our way through once more. Soka's just fine sitting here in the in the dark. It's I mean it's it's got to be like pitch black here to be honest. I don't know how we have as much light as we do, but she just sat there in the pitch black. It's fine. No big deal. Hey, I did it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. And this, in this room. take a look around. Clearly condemned building. Try searching with the camera obscura. Hold on. It could be hidden, invisible to the naked eye. Uh-huh. Hey, Phantom Expose. The camera obscura will react to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those items back to this world, really, by photographing the place they were taken from with the correct angle and position. Oh? Focus on the item by tilting the viewfinder and holding a holding okay sure oh it's clearly a book oh and then i screwed it up because i let go of the my bad Okay. So what's happening? Oh, we're, we we pulled this into reality. 
That's weird. I mean, I'm here for it, but that's weird. How could this she is what see? we came here for. Huh. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. Yeah, you, you think? You're right. Let's head back before it gets dark. It's not already dark? Okay. You know we gotta look in the room a little bit more. But we're gonna look in the room a little bit more in the next episode, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode. It's uh it's a different one. It's unique, it's strange. Like I said, I never played any of the Fatal Frame games. So I am very curious to see how it all plays out. And uh well, once again a big shout out and a thank you to Koei Tecmo for hooking me up with the code for this. And I'm looking forward to more. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video and various links. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, you guys know the score. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Spooky Man Magoo, no, uh, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.